Welcome to the Creating Assessments and Adding Questions to Assessments short version demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create your assessments. By the end of this demo, you will have assessments created and ready for your students to take. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. This demo shows you how to use a limited number of features. On the gray course navigation bar, click on Assessments. Click New Quiz. On the Properties tab, type in the name of your assessment. Example, Week 7 Quiz. From the Category drop-down menu, select the assessment category you want your quiz organized in. If you have not set up assessment categories, you can do so by clicking on the Add Category link. Type in your category and click the Save button. Click on the Add Edit Questions button. This screen is the same screen you had when you were creating your questions in the question library. Click on the Import button. Under Import Source, choose From an Existing Collection. Under Source Collection, choose Question Library. Under Section Source, select the name of the section you saved your questions under. After the screen refreshes, select the questions you want on the assessment. If you want all of the questions, select the box at the top next to the section name. When you are finished selecting questions, click Save. When you are finished making changes, click Done Editing Questions. Enter the number of test questions you want the students to see on each page in the Questions per Page field. It is best not to have more than five questions per page. Click Save. Under the Restrictions tab, set the status as Active for students to see it. Set Start and End Date options and choose to have this displayed in the calendar. In the Security Options section, you do not use the Respondents Lockdown Browser options. If you want to use the Lockdown Browser, watch the Using the Respondents Lockdown Browser widget demo, which shows you how to use the new widget to set up the Lockdown Browser. In the Timing section, you can set a time limit by choosing the Enforce a Time Limit option. Type in the time limit to determine how long students have to complete the assessment and a grace period of at least one minute to determine how many minutes the user has after the time limit has expired to submit the assessment before it is flagged late. Click Save. Click the Assessment tab. The assessment can be connected to an already set up gradebook item. Use the drop down menu to select the correct grade item. Notice that categories will appear in bold. You can only choose grade items, which will appear in regular text. Click Add Grade Item to create a new grade item if your grade item is not on the list. Check the box for Auto Export to Grades. This allows the grade to show up in the gradebook. Select the checkbox next to Automatic Grade for D12 Brightspace to automatically grade the assignment. This function will not work if test contains long answer questions. Under the Submissions View tab, you decide what the students see when they turn in their assessment. By default, the only thing a student will see at the end is their final grade if you check the box on the Assessment tab for Auto Grading. Click on the Default View link. To make changes to the Submission View message and settings, you have the option to show the students the questions on the assessment. 
how much information about the question you want to give them, and class statistics. Example, yes, show all questions with user responses, show question score and out of score, show attempt score and overall score, and show class average. Click the Save button. When you are done making changes to the assessment, click the Save and Close button in the bottom left corner. You have now successfully created an assessment and added questions to it.